is chapter two of the talk box basics we're going to be talking about this thing right here the tube so without further ado let's get into it okay so the tube this is the most important aspect of the talk box it is what you see it is a vinyl or sometimes rubber tube that comes from the speaker which is inside here this is a modified talk box bench by the way which is a speaker that comes through this little knob that I created here that goes to the tube that comes to the mouth that gives us that talk box sound. So as you can see here, I've got my output going to my input. What's coming out here goes to the tube and we have sound. So just a tip for everybody out there. I'm only using 40 watts. You can use whatever you want, but again, to me, 40 watts works. A lot of people think that you have to plug into a mixer. Remember guys, a talk box is a vocal thing. To amplify it, you put the tube in your mouth and put a microphone on and you amplify it that way. So there you go folks, that's just the basic run around. So what I wanna talk about guys is you had just came from a hardware store, typically Lowe's, Home Depot, maybe Ace, um, or Orchard Supply, whatever you guys have in your uh, neck of the woods. You have this vinyl tube. Here's the problem with the vinyl tube. Sometimes it's stiff and everybody says, oh, my mouth gets cut. How come you don't have problems? Well, I'm gonna show you a little secret what I do. Okay, before we get into it, I just wanna make a disclaimer that I'm not responsible for any damage or pain inflicted on you. This is just a tutorial on how to do so. If you are doing this, you are doing this at your own risk. So without further ado, come on, let's do it. Okay, so everybody asks me, well, how do I stop this vinyl or rubber tube from cutting my mouth? As you can see here, folks, I have a pot of water in here. Now, what I do is I boil my tube. Now, what's the reason for boiling your tube? Well, to me, boiling your tube makes the tube softer, which means it will fit cleanly around your nipple on the talk box that I created and it also will help you designate your biting um, methods or however you bite on your tooth it will bend it in a position where you can keep it comfortable in your mouth while you're talk boxing so I'm gonna put this in here so my goal is to put this bad boy in here so for people who wonder about how I talk box Believe it or not, I try to boil my tube before I perform for anything, and I also put a dab of bleach in there. Why do I put a dab of bleach in there? It helps stop uh, fungal infection. Again, when you're doing a talk box, you have to realize you're using your saliva, and with your saliva, you can actually have uh, bacteria grow in your tube, and a lot of people don't know that you have to be clean when you talk box. You have to have some kind of uh, cleanliness and um, hygienic uh, maintenance with this and that's what I want to show you guys is you put a dab of bleach in that bad boy you fire that up you let it run I let it boil so we're just gonna wait till it boils and then I'm gonna show you from there what I do okay so now uh, while we're waiting I use tongs here to push this down so um, I want to keep it all the way to the bottom of the water it does float so that way it kind of also cleans the tube uh, and also uh, make sure that the whole entire tube stays uh, hot so it becomes loose now while we're waiting um, I believe it's and don't quote me I'm just writing off the top of my head it's um, one half OD 3 8 ID and um, and that's just your uh, outer dimensions, inner dimensions for the tube that I use. 
preferably the tube that I personally use, folks, is about six feet. And I, I prefer to use the talk box, um, the, the, uh, the tube smaller. I'm constantly badgered with arguments about how many watts you should use, how many, you know, how big the tube is. Personally, this is how I'm doing it. I'm talking to you guys as um, a talk boxer who uses his stuff. If someone uses 120 watts with a larger uh, diameter tube, that's fine. But uh, I'm just showing you guys what I do. Some people wonder how I do the sound. This is how I do the sound. So when we're finished here, we're going to go ahead and um, make sure we're safe when we do this. Once again, I am not responsible for any uh, accidents that may happen. You are doing this on your own. Okay, folks, since I am using a metal pan, I make sure that I have um, gloves. And you're going to want to dip the water out first here. For those of you who are asking, please, 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 please make sure that you let your um, water cool down once it's completed boiling. And um, I would highly suggest you buy some tongs if you're going to do this. So before we continue, again guys, when you boil your water, at least dip some, uh, dip some bleach in there so that way you can have uh, some cleanliness in your talk box. A lot of people ask me about, you know, do you wash your talk box? Yeah, you got to... Yeah, put some bleach in there, make sure it gets in the uh, tube so that way um, it disinfects it. So I've waited for mine to cool down and it's going to drip guys, understand that. So if it does drip, you just blow in your tube to uh, make sure that it um, gets a uh, fair amount of uh, water out. Now see, it's nice and stretchy. You see that? I don't know if you could see it too well, but it is nice and stretchy. See, now I can put my tube in and put it to where I feel most comfortable at. So now let's head back to the studio and let's start using this tube. Okay, so now we're finished. The tube is nice and stretchy. Um, I used a nipple here and I hammered that bad boy in there. All right, so that way the sound is kind of forced to come out through here. This top box did take a pretty big beat and it was on the road with me a lot. So uh, please consider that. <laughs> anyway, so now that the tube is nice and soft here, we go ahead and we can easily screw it right in there. You can push, screw, I prefer to screw that tube in there. What it does is it forces the sound to go through the tube. Now make sure that your tube is straightened out, it's not bending, so that way the sound is very clear and it comes to the tube as you can see here. All right. Once it's done, the end is soft, and now you can put your teeth on it and make it fit to how you want a talk box so it's more comfortable, less cuts. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. And there you have it. So that's it for talk box basics, the two. Um, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, please check out my YouTube channel for my talk box tutorials. I want to thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. If you have questions, please leave it in the comments. Again, I'm not responsible for any damage done or any harm. This is on your choice. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure that you guys know how I use it. I have a lot of questions about how to make the tube stop hurting. And this is, the to me, the safest way that I have done it for probably eight years now. And I want to show you guys how I did it. So, um, I hope this was intuitive for you. You guys were able to learn that. Now, again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. So, please subscribe, please comment, like, and most importantly, please share. I want to thank you guys so much, and I want to see you jamming on the top box. You guys take care. Ooh.